Hello. No. Hi. My name is uh, Elias. I don't know if you guys know me. <laughs> I run a YouTube channel called Native Media Theory. Oh. Awesome. And uh, I'm over on Instagram as well. And I've been following you guys for a very long time. <laughs> awesome. So uh, I have a obviously a few questions for you, but I might be a little different. I have some very native specific uh, questions yeah, for y'all. Let's go. <laughs> and the first one is for you, Chaske. It's like, um, I mean, you have a pretty, you know, impressive body of work oh, and you. everything. And I was wondering, like, for you personally, what's it feel like to be like on a Marvel project? Oh, it's fun. I mean, why I got into this business because, you know, you never really grow up. You know, it, it, you just a little kid, but you get bigger toys. So <laughs> I got to the opportunity to go to Marvel, you know, it was the inner kid in me going to play in the backyard again. And uh, what I love about it is it is based on that, uh, the comic books. And uh, it's it's a project that I really love to be in. And it's just fun. It's really it's a lot of hard work. But in the end of the day, it's fun. And I'm really, really astounded and can't believe sometimes I'm in I'm here with uh, Marvel. Yeah, I can tell. I can actually kind of tell you had fun with this. I don't, I, I don't know if that. I don't know. For me, it felt like I, you were you were really enveloped in the character and everything. Um, real quick, I'll just add on to that. Is it Sydney Freeland? I mean, she gave us a lot of creative freedom to, to freedom to develop these characters under her watchful eye. So I got to give credit to that. Yeah, and that I mean that's my follow up question. It was like for you, for both of you, were there character like were there influences like you know family members or anything that really influenced your characters at all? Or people you knew? Yeah, I mean, I think that there was definitely like a little bit of myself or my relationship specifically with my siblings because Bonnie is somebody who is so close to Maya that she's almost like a sister to her that that was really important to me. And in like true Rizzy fashion, like technically they're cousins, but then they're kind of sisters or or like there's kind of uncles, kind of dads where it's just like that's the that's what I love about the show is that there's that community feel. Um, but that was definitely an influence for me. And then another thing, uh, I was able to go to the Choctaw Nation at their uh, cultural center in Durant, Oklahoma, before heading out to Georgia to film this. And uh, going there, there was this sculpture of these two cousins, and there was one who was older and one who was younger, and they were just, like, super close. They might have been, like, braiding each other's hair or something. And and it re really made me think of that relationship in in the story. So I took a picture, and I had sent it to Alakwa, um, who is Mohican and from the Menominee Nation, and she's uh, based out in, in Wisconsin. But I had sent that to her, and we were just like, yes, like, we we want to make sure that this relationship between sisters is is really conveyed yeah i mean that's very indigenous right like every, all your cousins are your brothers and sisters your always your, your, your mom's cousins are your aunties and your oh, uncles yeah. right yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I i really appreciated seeing that dynamic i mean i mean I think even in the dialogue she says you're my sister you yeah. know I guess for me personally, like I have a lot of, you know, ambitions for myself, but for you two in particular, uh, directed towards both of you, like what advice do you have for young up and coming native filmmakers, you know, people who want to tell these stories and reach the level of like where we're, you guys are at now with like, you know, with like, you know, uh, Devery with you with Res Dogs and Chaske with you and the English and obviously Twilight, but like, you know, what's your, what's your advice for young up and coming native you know, filmmakers, creatives, and stuff like that. I would say I got this best advice from an acting coach long time ago when I first arrived to New York. It's perseverance. Mm. Perseverance. Uh, if you get in this line of work, you know, you're going to face a lot of rejection, first of all. And you just got to keep persevering and also rely on your craft and your work. That's always going to save you at the end of the day, your talent. And a sense of self. Know thyself. Because mm -hmm. that's going to help you with your characters. And, and know that this business, it is a business. Don't get that wrong. It's show business. But you do have to work hard. And you have to work. And nothing's given to you in this business. Yeah, Thank I, you. Couldn't, I couldn't have said it better. Great. Well, I mean, maybe that was more for me than anyone else. <laughs> 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 well, it was it was great to meet you guys. Uh, I'd love to talk more with you guys later. But you can follow me on Instagram or watch my YouTube videos and oh, awesome. all this stuff. So, so nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you too. How going it? Onigiwahi, see you.